You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. Ground floor. Hey, pal. We get a new weapon shipment? Laboratory. During his last election campaign, Governor Kolvig promised a bold new plan of action to clean up the worst regions of the highly toxic debris that surrounds our city, the so-called Kipple. Just how much progress has been made since then? We spoke to the governor just before his weekly meeting with the city council. Our studies have shown that the Kipple's effect upon Los Angeles is minor. The radiation and toxic waste is contained in relatively small pockets, all miles distant from the city center. Nevertheless, Cleaning things up out there is a worthwhile goal, especially with the thousands of specials living on the city fringes. For now, all I can say is that we're looking at several options and I'm sure everyone will be pleasantly surprised by our final proposal. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Roof.
dam. I remember early Q used to call himself a humanitarian because he'd recruit orphans for a sex club, then donate a percentage of their salary to his favorite animal propagation lab. Yeah, he was a real piece of work. What's your pleasure, sir? The highest octane. One Venus high trap. Coming up. What's the green? Neptune's nip. I think you'll enjoy it, sir. Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a ten, ten at two. Why is it called that? Let's just say it's a love potion. Me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a ten, ten to two. Why is it called that? Let's just say it's a love potion. What's your name? Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a ten, ten to two. Why is it called that? Let's just say it's a love potion. What's your name? Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a ten, ten to two. Why is it called that? Let's just say it's a love potion. What's your name? Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a ten, ten to two. Why is it called that? Let's just say it's a love potion. What's your name? Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. Haven't I seen you around here before? How old are you? How old are you? Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. Haven't I seen you around here before? How old are you?
mất cái gì It was the Brixdel. He said Pat doesn't have a mink coat. She's got a good Republican cloth coat. That's all. You're wrong, sweetie. It was Herbert Hoover. I'm sorry, but I was there. Well, if anything, you were all of three years old back then. I still remember it, like it was yesterday. And he said fur coat, not mink. I saw it on the Discovery disc. You guys still battling it out? That's what keeps a marriage alive and kicking, Ray. Uh, what can we do you for? The works. Coming right up. You know anything about politics, Ray? Famous quotes, things like that? I try not to. How about the checker speech? Never heard of it. Well, Hoover's checker speech. Nixon's checker speech. <laughs> You're forgetting a lot, your old age. <laughs> Right behind you, lady. You ever seen this girl around here? Maybe in the arcade? Oh, yes! I saw her come out of the arcade yesterday. No, it was the day before. Maybe you saw her both days. No, I'm positive. It was yesterday. You're positively wrong. It was two days ago. Shaw's God made little green apples. You're getting Alzheimer's, sweetie. Okay, okay, just forget it. Be good, you two.